concrete masonry units, also known as CMU, are blocks used in the construction industry to form a concrete block structure like a wall or a fence. These are generally made of, of concrete and aggregates of certain design mixtures depending on the strength required by systems used as masonry units are non-load bearing in nature or do not and should not be allowed to carry any vertical loads at all now if you want to build a concrete block or concrete masonry unit you need to have an understanding about checklist to compliance to the approved project documents such as block work shop drawing method statement for block work and inspection and test plan so if you want to know more about concrete block or concrete masonry units here are the most common type of concrete block used in the construction industry number one hollow concrete blocks commonly used in the construction industry concrete hollow blocks are usually manufactured using lightweight aggregates with a certain design load depending on the nature of member it will be used into normally concrete hollow blocks have voids of one fourth its gross area and the solid area should be not less than half of its area to attain its maximum allowable load capacity studies suggest the voids are generally filled with mortar of lightweight aggregate material as well there are two kinds of concrete hollow blocks load bearing concrete hollow blocks and non load bearing concrete hollow blocks it is available in sizes such as 100 by 200 by 400 mm 200 by 200 by 400 mm and 150 by 200 by 400 mm and so on see here how he installed the hollow block it's, uh, miss uh, where is miss miss, miss. Jale. Number two, irated autoclave concrete block or AAC. Most of the time compared with bricks but is different in a lot of ways. Irated autoclave concrete blocks are lighter and bigger version of bricks. Mostly made with same ingredients as of bricks but with a different composition which made the material a vessel for cost cutting. The studies show that using autoclave aerated block has diligently reduced the overall steel in concrete consumption by 15% and 10%. Apparently, in the cost benefit factor part, autoclave aerated block passed by bricks in several areas, such as construction time, adaptation to various surfaces fire resistance, soundproof, and cost. For the installation of EEC block, a method statement must be submitted for approval before work commences. Number three, concrete bricks. Concrete bricks typically are small rectangular block arranged and piled systematically to create a rigid wall. 
These bricks are usually made up of coke clay or concrete. Some manufacturers use solid concrete while others play with its cement and aggregates ratio for economic purposes. Other manufacturers also created bricks with different color as per request of some clients. Concrete bricks are usually used in fences, facades as it provides good aesthetic and slick look. Number 4. Solid Concrete Blocks Way denser and bigger than concrete bricks, solid concrete blocks are manufactured to be strong, heavy, and created out of naturally dense aggregates. These solid uh, concrete blocks are strong enough that it is used for larger masonry units that are load-bearing in nature. Solid concrete blocks are just similar to concrete brick but are way costlier and heavier and can withstand more forces as compared to bricks. Number 5. Lintel Blocks these concrete blocks are used in preparation for lintel beams. These lintel blocks are manufactured in such a way that it uh, serves as a masonry unit and a formwork itself. Aesthetically, lintel blocks have a deep groove where enforcing bars are put along with concrete meaning these serve as permanent formwork system for the lintel beam member. This is found to be efficient and useful by most builders as they serve two different purposes. It is a two-in-one product. Number six, paving blocks. Paving blocks are generally just a rectangular or square box made up of reinforced concrete. As these blocks are used in paving and road shoulders, these have to be painted with high visibility concrete paints so motorists and drivers could see it right away. Also, these blocks have to be rigid and firm enough to receive any car collisions. Paving blocks are also used in parks, walkway, and sometimes in parking areas. The common size of paving block is 60 mm. Number 7. Concrete Stretcher Block Again, somewhat similar to corner block, concrete stretcher blocks are used to combine masonry units. With respect to its looks, concrete stretcher block is relatively the same with a common hollow block but their faces are laid parallel with respect to the face of the wall. Alongside every masonry unit stated above, these concrete blocks come with reinforcing bars and approved mortar and paste or adhesive material. Furthermore, choosing a masonry unit is solely dependent on the needs of the builder. A combination of this masonry unit is advisable. Each and every masonry unit is created and manufactured for its and different purposes. It is advisable to ask the supplier as they are the ones knowledgeable about their products. They can give ideas and impart knowledge that is not common. Engineers may also ask the suppliers to have a demo on how to install their products. What types of concrete block do you use on site? Do you follow the method statement in the construction of concrete block? To get more informative videos like this, hit the like and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon 
so that you'll get notified every time I publish a new video. And leave a comment below to let me know what you'd like to see next.